I actually think there's a bit of a problem with what's on the board right now. This, um, and there's not very much on the board, right? I think the problem is calling these things um, word problems. Word problem. As if they're something different from what you've been doing for this entire topic. They're the same thing. They're just wearing different clothes. It's not like, oh, you know, this is, this is me in school uniform. And then there's, there's school uniform me. And then there's pajamas me. And there's party, you know. It, no, you're the same person, which dressed up a different way. And that's exactly what these questions are like, okay? So, let's start going through. Don't get intimidated by all of the... Words. Let's get down the important information. Read with me. Okay. Year eight. That's a coincidence. Not. Year eight's holding a disco to raise money. Each ticket bought by students raises five dollars. Pause. Five dollars. Five dollars. Thank you. But not just five dollars. There's lots of dollars in this question. I want to know what five dollars means. Five dollars. Each ticket. Like I said, thank you for contributing to Five $5 each ticket. Let's keep going. The costs of running the disco total $130. Okay, so I'm going to write $130. How would you like to describe it? Yeah, total, I'd say total cost. Total cost. Because it's not like it's cost per student who enters. That would be not a very good way to raise money. Okay? And also, what are you doing at this disco? Anyway, so $5 each ticket. $130 for each cost. Okay? Uh, sorry, for the total cost, rather. How many tickets must be sold to make a profit of $300? So I'm going to write $300. Then I'm going to write profit... And question mark, because that's what I'm aiming at. That's my target. Okay. Then they give you a bit of a hand. I will just point out for the fact that that thing in the brackets, which I'm about to read out, doesn't always appear. Actually, that's part of the skill of this kind of question, to be able to take that and make up your own names and own pronumerals for whatever's in the question. Right? It says, let N stand for the number of tickets sold. So N equals number of tickets sold. Okay, so now what's important here is we're actually going to add something onto this um, that isn't stated explicitly in the question, but it's implied. And if you have a different colour, it will be here to do this. If you don't, it's okay. See these numbers here, right? These numbers, they're all dollars, but what's hidden in there is that they're not the same dollars. Some dollars are coming in for the fundraising and some are going out, right? Some are, some are good, some are bad, okay? Now, when you have a look, $5 for each ticket, is that coming into us or going out? Yeah. It's coming in. They're paying us, right? So to indicate that, I'm going to say plus, right? This is good. It's adding to the amount of money that we have. Okay. Now, you can kind of see what's happening next, right? That $130, the cost, where's that money going? It's going out, right? I'm, we're losing this money, right? So it's going to get subtracted. This $300 is a profit profit so I want that to be a plus okay you okay with that right now we're ready to form our equation okay if n is the number of tickets sold then how much money will come in in total for instance if I sold 10 tickets <coughs> how much actual money like what dollar value would I get 10 tickets 50 bucks in right if I sold 100 tickets $500 in, at least I hope, right? So what I'm doing is I'm taking the number of tickets and I'm just multiplying it by the cost of each ticket. Are you okay with that? So I'm gonna write down 5M. If you like, I'm going to say, what that is, is uh, income from all tickets. Because $5 is the income from one ticket, the 5N is the income from all of the tickets that I sell. Okay. Now that's positive. I, I could write a plus there if I wanted to, but I, I don't need to. Okay. I've got money coming in, but I also have money coming out. So what am I going to add to this equation? I've got to take away 130. Okay. Now what we've got here is um, another pair of ideas which I'll just give names to. In a second I'll get to your question. Um, 
this 5N, right, we would call this gross income. Gross? It's like everything coming in. Okay? But once you take away some of the stuff that you had to use, we call it net income. It's a little bit like if you um, you know, if you buy a bag of chips or like a can of a can of tuna or something like that, right? The tuna inside. Sorry, the whole mass of the whole thing, that's the gross weight. And then what's inside, the actual tuna, that's the net weight. That's what's left over after you take away the can. Okay? So that's what I've got so far. Did you want to ask a question? Okay, you're going to get to the next step. Morgan, were you going to... What? Never mind. Okay. <laughs> so, 5M minus 103. Now, this will give me the profit, okay? Now, just, just predict for a second um, what would happen if, for instance... Suppose our marketing campaign doesn't do a very good job and I don't sell any tickets. No tickets. That wouldn't be very good, would it, right? What would it mean for how much I earn out at the end? Um, yeah, Ethan. You'd lose $130. Yeah, good. I'm, um, as, as bankers say, I'd be in the red. I haven't made any money at all. In fact, I've lost money. I'm in debt. That kind of sucks, right? But that's what would happen if N was zero, okay? Yeah, question. But if you didn't sell tickets, why would you pay for the thing? Well, that's a great question. You know, this total cost, what things might go in there? You might have to hire a DJ, you might have to get a venue. Often those kinds of things you have to do before, before you've, you've even sold any tickets because you've got to get that organized like ahead of so time. So you can't cancel. So maybe we can, but frequently you can't. Okay. Like, that's the way events are. Right. But for now, we don't need to really worry about that. Let's just assume it's a cost. Will. How much is the going rate for a DJ? I have no idea. Let's move on and you can give me an idea by researching it after we finish this question. Okay. Now, that was just a hypothetical. What do I want the profit to be? A lot. A lot. Specifically, I want $300. I want that profit to be $300. Are you happy with that? That's what I actually want. So, I'm just going to label that. That's the desired profit. Now I've got my equation, so now I can solve, right? Now I'm back, look at this guy. You see why I say these aren't different problems, it's the same problem, just dressed up differently. What shall I do, yeah? Okay, I wanna get this 130 out of the way, I'll add it to both sides. That leaves me with 5N on that side and on the right hand side, 430, very good. I only need to do one more thing to get N by itself, to get the king by itself. William? You need to divide, divide by, five. by five. Okay, so I'm going to divide by five. And divide by five, okay? And that's going to tell you, yep, 86. Very good. Okay? Now, just check. Does that seem a reasonable number? Yes. Yeah, I think that's in the ballpark, okay? And of course, what you could do is you could just go back to this original and just crunch through the process. 86 times 5, that'll give you a figure. Mm -hmm. You take away your $130 because that money's going out, and you should end up on your $300 profit. Okay? So, when you have a go through these other questions, all I want to point out is see how I remember I said those brackets are there and they give you a bit of a hand? They stop giving you a hand. Okay? So, you will start to have to work out what, do I, what letter do I introduce and what's it equal to? It's not always so simple. All right? Off you go.